Welcome to Skyblock Basics Episode 1. This is going to be a series here on my YouTube channel where I'll be going over what to do, how to do it, and why to do it videos here in Hypixel Skyblock. Seeing that this is Episode 1, I want to start off the series with a video on how to start off your new Skyblock profile and get your first 1 million coins. This video is not meant for Iron Man profiles and it will be using the Bazaar and Auction S in today's video. Now with that out of the way, let's go make a million coins. Our first goal for our new profile is to unlock the Bazaar as fast as possible. So the following clip is going to be a time lapse of the just under 15 minutes it took me to unlock the bazaar. We should be almost at foraging seven, so just a few more logs, and we should be done. All right, there we go. So uh, we got foraging seven, so we've got the on uh, we got the bazaar unlocked. So let's go check that out. Okay, yeah. So we can now start selling items on the bazaar. We're going to be doing sell orders. We get more money from that if, than if you were to sell it instantly. This is the part of the video where I go and ask you to please subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at 300 subscribers, and while you're at it, go like the video if you're interested in content like this. It takes a while to make these videos, and besides, you get to learn more about Skyblock. So, yeah. Enough with self-promotion, let's go make some coins. There's actually quite a few different money-making methods that you can use early game, which make quite a bit of coins. And those we're going to be focusing on right now are going to be the calendar events. The calendar events are found here. They are the Spooky Festival and the Season of Jerry. Let's go over them right now. Both the Spooky Festival and the Season of Jerry last for an hour each. The Spooky Festival, you kill monsters, you get a chance to get candy from the monsters, and you can sell that candy for coins. The Season of Jerry, however, you go into a separate island, 
you fight magma cubes, and after each round, you get presents, and that is more of a set value of coins. Spooky Festival is more reliant on how far you've progressed on Skyblock, where the Season of Jerry, you get the same amount of coins as everyone else, unless you have specific items such as a snowsuit here, but that's perfectly fine. Both are really good events overall for coins, so keep an eye out for these as often as you can. I'll play some clips from both events on my main profile here in just a second so you get to see what it's like. In the end, I got about 6.7 million coins from the Spooky Festival and another 1 million coins from the Season of Jerry. Now granted, you get more coins from the Spooky Festival depending on how far you've progressed in Skyblock, but nonetheless, these are still really good money making methods really early on, and there are more money making methods that you can do, so let's go over that right now. Every few days, a new mayor will be elected. Mayors can be found in this big building right behind me here at Spawn, and as of recording, the current mayor is Aatrox, who gives perks and bonuses towards Slayers, which is a terrible example for an early game starter guide video, because Slayers are aimed more towards mid to late game players, requiring players to have lots of health, deal lots of damage, and spend lots of coins on armor and weapons. Two good mayors for early game participation are Diana and Cole. Diana is just like the Spooky Festival, where the further you progress in the game, the more coins you will make. However, early game players still make lots of coins, and Cole is a good mayor for early game players because it gives the mining fiesta where you can get refined minerals, which, even though prices have dramatically decreased over time, they are still a good boost for early game players' bank accounts. Not a lot of coins, but it is still good for new players. Another great source of income are minions. These guys are great, I cannot stress that enough. They work 24-7. Whether or not you're online, it does not matter. They are constantly generating materials that you can sell, make armor, weapons, or even upgrade the minions, making them faster, more efficient, and making you more coins. The downside of these guys are that it costs a lot of coins to upgrade them in their higher tiers, 
and getting more minion slots later on in the game costs lots of money. But when you have a lot of these guys working together, you can get a lot of coins doing nothing. It is worth it in my opinion. Even doing things like farming, killing endermen, fishing, wait, never mind, fishing sucks, foraging, and yes, I'm using a Daedalus axe because I don't have a true capitator, thank you for noticing, and even the simple task of keeping money in your own bank account can get you coins. It, it, it's ridiculous. Everything makes money, except for being scammed, but whatever. You're not going to make a lot of money right away in Skyblock. That's just not how it works. It takes money to make money. So doing these methods can get you your first few million coins, which you can then use to invest in more money-making methods, which I will go over for a mid to late game money-making method tutorial video. For now, I hope you guys are satisfied with your coins, and I'll see you next time.